Good afternoon, everyone. Very pleased to be here today. Um, if my chairman was here today, he would tell me that I'm an unreasonable CEO <laughs> and uh, that I'm, I have an unreasonable expectation to resolve one of the biggest problems we have here, which is with carbon management. So I'll give you my takeaway right away so you can decide to stay on and listen to the rest of it. So number one, we do carbon capture. Number two, from industrial sources, so we're trying to minimize the CO2 going up in the air from cement plant and steel plant, for example. It's an end-of-the-pipe solution. Number three, we like to do things in large scale, at least in gigaton scale. And number four, we're trying to go after, for the investor in the room, a $2 trillion market for capital equipment to be able to take 20% of the CO2 out of the atmosphere through industrial reduction of emission. So, a bit of background on why we're, we're named Zvante. 123 years ago, this fellow, Zvante Arrhenius, famous Nobel Prize in 1903, came up with a, an article in, uh, in a newspaper here that says that CO2 in the atmosphere will increase the temperature on Earth. 120 years ago. So we're working on an old problem, yes? <laughs> so. He was right. This is a picture taken in the permafrost up north in Canada. It's melting. It's uh, also a picture taken a few, a few weeks ago in, uh, in California, for those who live there. So complete neighborhood burned houses. And, you know, when you look at the, at the point where we are today, it's a tipping point in the sense that the temperature is increasing now, and then we're reaching one degree. This is the highest temperature in the year you see compared to the other years. So you can see we're doing this. So what happens is that we have two natural filters on Earth. Uh, trees, photosynthesis, taking the CO2 and giving oxygen for us to breathe. And we have oceans who make basically coral by absorbing the CO2. Well, they're over-designed, basically, and they allowed us to, for many years to be able to take up the CO2 coming from man-made, but now they cannot cope with it. And there's an imbalance of 10 gigaton, about equivalent to what the industrial emission is about. So 10 gigaton is what we need to take out of going in the atmosphere as a minimum. So, people are looking at renewable electric vehicles, so all of these things are cool things to do and they, they, must be, they must be done. But this is not enough. We need to be looking at industrial sources coming from um, cement plant and chemical plants, hydrogen plant, when, and it will give us bang for a buck because we're looking at 21% of the emission that will have to be done. We still want to build uh, high rise and, and bridges and the like. So, the innovation we have is quite unique. We, we've basically have designed a nanomaterial that allows us to, to take and make a sorbent that uh, we can then swing into um, a rotary equipment and catch and release in about 60 seconds the CO2. So we catch the CO2 and release in 60 seconds in this very compact equipment. So the question now is, you have a cheap way of getting it. How can you get the CO2? What do you do with the CO2? So if we can put it back into where it came from, there is technology readily available, and people have been working on it for many years, where you can put the CO2 back uh, in the ground. And that's what we do with our customers. So, today we mine about 60 million tons of CO2. 60 million tons of CO2, mine, from natural resource. And we move it around in a pipeline, and we put it into a deployed oil reservoir. We need to go by 2040 to 10 gigaton, which is 10,000. That's the $2 trillion opportunity. So, our value prop, we are after capex of existing technology, which is the one in the middle, which is $4 trillion to do the job of 10 gigaton. And if we wait too long, we'll have to do it from the air, and that's a $7 tr trillion cost to do this. So, we believe that we will be an enabling technology, enabling companies to be able to do this net zero carbon future so that we can move on to the next generation with a good footprint. Thank you.